Sin Joe. My name is Quinn Trin. Um, you can find me at mistrin.com. Today we're going to talk about the essentials that you need as a supply teacher. So we start with a bag. Uh, you can use this one, the Building Futures from the Ministry of Education. I got it as a teacher candidate. Uh, but I'm going to use this bag. It's the A. OAME uh, bag that I got from that conference on Ontario Association of Math Education and it's a very sturdy bag so that's what I'm going to use. So we're going to first look at our list, the Essential Teacher Supply Kit and this is what you need to take with you at every uh, teaching assignment and I like to be very functional and practical and not carry a whole truckload of things because it can be very heavy. So first Number one, a pencil case. In that pencil case, I'll show you what I have in my pencil case. Um, it's a typical pencil case. Uh, and you can have your name tag, whistle, bandages is very important, pencil, pen, uh, post-its, and gotcha. So uh, bandages is very, very important. I put this in the outside because then the kids can uh, get at it. Uh, and I have here a uh, privilege pass or gotchas. You can put gotchas here as well. Mm -hmm. Little post-its, different size post-its. I find that very handy. So you put that on the outside. And in the inside uh, pocket that I put in, whistle, a must have when you're teaching a gym. Now I have my badge with my name tag and um, your uh, business card. And I still have to update my business card because uh, this is pretty old. Uh, I have scissors as well in there. I have my special pencil um, markers, pens, just one of every color I find. Don't put too much. Uh, different highlighters, um, dry erase, just one dry erase, very important, and a small light ruler. Um, I also have a Sharpie, very important. Um, I guess this is a tape, and what else? Oh, chalk, different color chalk, just in case, you know, you never know. I have an eraser as well in here, and um, Mm, magnets. Magnets are very important. And here I have paper clips, different size paper clips. Just one or two, not too much because it's, I don't want it to be too heavy on my backpack or my bag. So that's what's in my pencil case. Okay, then we're going to look at the binder. What's in my supply binder? The essential things that I need. And it's just a very Nice dutang lightweight because I don't want to carry the whole like, you know, spool. So what I have in it is a calendar. So calendar is very important. I have a whole year calendar and I have a, a monthly calendar as well as I just jot the uh, places and the time that I will be assigned for each assignment. And this is uh, my emergency lesson plans and it's very important to have this. I will supply this for free, uh, hopefully down in, in link somewhere. Uh, it's about uh, fillers for grade one to certain kind of activities, uh, filler activities for kindergarten, language art activities. Uh, there's like math problems that you can have there as well. Gym and kin kinder gym. Uh, there's a bunch of self-reflection that I have there as well. And um, most importantly, uh, there's like little meditation links that I like to do with the students. And just uh, various effective uh, discipline um, things that you can employ as well when you're in that uh, situation. And uh, I have... Um, a little folder for uh, little forms that I have that you may need and I like to put uh, the teachers uh, lesson plans in uh, folders where I can see it and I will label with my name on it uh, when I have a chance um, I'm still needing to get my ink so once I got that I'll get that going 
and this is very important, uh, supply teacher, like uh, the checklist, feedback form, and uh, I tell the teacher what's uh, going on or what happened during the day. I review the day plans left by the teacher, and it's just a checklist. I review the emergency plan, uh, review the, the various schedules, like yard duty, increment uh, weather and prep schedules. And I have to make sure the classroom is left clean at the end of the day. And uh, just a little checklist on uh, the performance or behavior of kids. Students were diligent in getting on task, seldom, uh, some of the times, or almost always. So you, we're familiar with these types of rubric. And uh, the following students are to be commended for their consistent work effort and behavior during the instructional day. And you just list the kids. And obviously there's those students are uh, weren't um, not being consistent and following instructions. So you uh, list those students as well. And just little comments. So I have um, uh, two forms here and you can write notes in the back as well. But I try to keep it not uh, too much paper that I have to carry with me. So this is all I have in my bag. So that's my uh, toolkit, supply toolkit, and uh, I'll give that for you for free. So uh, look forward to looking at that. Uh, number three, stickers, uh, playing cards, and extra pencil. So I put in a little Ziploc bag and just the various stickers that I have. The playing cards was very important because there's activities that lots of math activities that you can do with it. And pencils, I find that just in case the students need to get to work so that those are their tools in, in order to be successful. Uh, number four, my personal case. So I have a separate case, a little small little case and a USB charger um, a change, like uh, money that I have. Here's my little small charger with um, the attachment so that I can uh, stick it in anywhere in the classroom. Uh, this is very important, your phones. Uh, I put my phone in there as well. I have um, a medicine uh, container um my natural deodorant just in case you never know and my lotion i made this uh and chapstick you can put that in there as well i have like change not too much you don't want to leave uh valuables in your uh, supply bag because you never know what will happen so i tend not to leave any valuables in there so I think that's it for the, uh, my personal case and obviously uh, your special napki napkins or whatever that you may need throughout the day. So water bottle, I keep my water bottle accessible like right in the front pocket so that I can have that and fill it up. And my lunch bag, so there you go. Just my small little lunch bag that I put to my lunch in there. And indoor shoes. Do not forget your indoor shoes. I have my little um, sh indoor shoes I put in a Ziploc. And it's just a slip-on shoes that I have, and especially for the winter. So those are the items that I have in my uh, toolbox. And that's not that many things because you don't want to carry so much. And... Um, uh, in your supply because it's only for a day and you have to keep that momentum going throughout the day. So hopefully this will help you or have helped you with uh, what to expect uh, in your uh, the most essential things that you need in your teacher supply bag. And um, just give me a thumbs up, give me a comment to see if I missed anything and um, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye for now.